10 players was asked to give our thoughts on this mystery man known as Al Heyman, and his move to NBC. And we've gotta throw a 10 players holler out to Corin Bread, and Boriqua 9071 on this one. Hope we pronounced that right. So let's get to the business, because we've been asked some questions about Heyman, and we've talked Heyman before in videos. But we've pretty much said all we can say about the guy. All the other things we've heard on Heyman's nothing more than speculation and personal shit. So it's nothing we'd spread without knowing. On top of that. We really don't give a shit about the man's personal life. It's his business. But the man just doesn't give interviews. Yet certain things we can clearly see. No need to interview a fish to know it likes to swim. But we wanna make something clear, and get this shit out of the way before we even start. So listen up. Al Heyman's not the poster boy for the black race. He's not the fucking spokesperson for black people, so step the fuck off with that bullshit. It's a fucking insult. Ali represented black people. Ali talked black is beautiful and black pride. Malcolm X talked it. Even Public Enemy talked it. And 10 players can spit some of the nastiest shit around. We simply welcome players of any race to join the party. Yet where Heyman stands when it comes to being black is something we don't know. But him giving fight fans of all races fights they wanna see has nothing to do with it, because we haven't heard Al Heyman say a damn thing about blackness or being on a mission to uplift the black race. If he is, we sure the fuck haven't heard it. Yet anytime someone says something about Heyman. Like they're not getting the fights they wanna see. Some dumbass Flomo has to leave some stupid fucking comment about Heyman being hated on because he's a successful black man. That's if they're not black and they say it. And if they're black and they see they're getting screwed, then they're an Uncle Tom to these pieces of garbage. No. You're the fucking Uncle Toms. We had one motherfucker even try that shit with us. You have no idea who the fuck you're talking to you stupid fucking house slaves. We've faced these supremacy groups in the flesh while you haven't done shit but typed on a fucking keyboard. And we didn't see Heyman or Mayweather any fucking were around. Ignore these fake fucking cooning Uncle Toms. No matter what you are. Race doesn't have a damn thing to do with someone not giving you a fucking product you want. Now if someone attacks Heyman for nothing more than being black, we'll be the first motherfuckers on the block to stand the fuck up. We'll do that shit for anyone of any race. But currently, the majority of fans just aren't satisfied with the fucking fights they're getting. And that includes 10 players. We couldn't give two shits if the cause is this guy this guy or this guy. If you wanna know about black power. Then fucking request it and we'll deliver some real shit Mayweather and Heyman will never spit. Until then save it for the real racists. Like this dumb motherfucker that just called us cracker haters for not calling Triple G an all time great. No. We're not calling Triple G great. But we do call the Klitschko's great you fucking dumb knuckle headed idiot. Now when it comes to speaking on Heyman, it's not always an easy thing, because he's an extremely private public figure. And we can't blame the man for desiring his privacy. Yet he sure the fuck loves having his name yelled out. Because if he didn't, he'd put a lid on that shit. But as for his move to NBC. Well it doesn't mean a damn thing to us. Not diddly fucking squat. See. Bust this. And I tell you no lies. There's quite a few ladies who love me. They trust me with everything they've got. They get quite excited when they know I'm coming around. Because. Well you know. I'm pretty damn sexy to them. Yeah. Hey. How couldn't I be? You know why? Well they say I've done some damn good shit with them. Memorable shit. They believe that shit. Special exotic things they say. They credit me for that shit. I'm still not sure what I did. Maybe it was the butt massaging spankings. But guess what? They didn't credit me then I did those things. I did those things then they credited me. That's why they get excited and love when I come around. That's how nature works. Heyman hasn't done a damn thing to make anyone credit him for shit. Or get excited about squat. So why should we give a shit about him going to NBC? We're not getting the Pac Mayweather fight. No Stevenson Kovalev. We're watching shit like Garcia facing Sulka. And now Mayweather's pushing Khan on fans next. And as for HBO and Showtime, Showtime's been providing entertainment, but who's providing the more desirable fights? I mean you're getting cards like Berto, Lucas and Broner in one night. Good names. But who the fuck didn't already know the outcome of those fights? Now Heyman's filed for a divorce with Showtime, 
and is sleeping with NBC. So now we'll get to see fights we'll already know the outcome of on NBC instead of Showtime. Lots of fans are getting excited about the idea of it. They feel this could possibly bring boxing back to its glory days, and it certainly could if it's done right. I mean what if you had to pay to watch Jordan? Who the fuck would have wanted that? We're just not excited about the shit because this is Heyman. Look. If a motherfucker in your neighborhood had a gang, and they spent all their time swindling everyone in the neighborhood out of money. Would you really get excited if you heard he was moving to a better house on the block? What the fuck for? We haven't seen Heyman do anything that thrilled us when it comes to fights. We got the Mayweather Canelo fight, then nothing, and why fans credit Heyman for that fight still baffles us. We have no proof that fight went down because Heyman blinked like God and made the fight happen for us. Canelo's side and Golden Boy, along with offering catch weights, played as much a part as Mayweather's side. And Canelo's side initiated it. So why the fuck's Heyman getting credit for it? But make no mistake, Heyman's a major player. But it's not all about Heyman alone. See we'd love to see the TV deal, and it could possibly spread like wildfire to other networks. But it could also end up becoming nothing more than a big flop. Because if casuals start getting smart, sooner or later they'll learn it's another cold war. See here's the problem. In boxing's glory days, even the casuals actually knew who the best was. Unlike today, the casuals knew Frazier and Ali actually were the two top guys. Every casual knew it was Tyson Spinks. Casuals don't know shit today, because guys like Mayweather aren't mainstream news. He's not on the front of every paper like the greats. He can go right to the barber shop and not be known. If Ali went to the barber shop you'd think there was a block party. See here's what a sports superstar is. When motherfuckers who don't even like your sport know who you are, then you're a superstar. You didn't have to watch boxing to know who Ali was, or basketball to know Jordan. You could hate golf and know Tiger. TV made superstars. But if the casuals start getting into boxing, they're still gonna turn on HBO one day and watch some fight, then wanna see that top guy on HBO fight that top guy on NBC. And unless Heyman ends up owning every fighter on the planet, we doubt we'll see those fights. And even if he does. Fans don't have time to be waiting around for when Heyman decides to let them see something because it's good for his pockets. His fighters are already starting to look hollow, so it'll be like the Eastern and Western Conference champions never playing for the championship. And ultimately that's the whole point of sports. We actually get to see these guys face the best. What good's football if you never get a Super Bowl and World Cup? What good's the Olympics if you never compete for the gold? Or if there's five gold medals for the same fucking event? Regular sports fans don't have time for that shit. They're interested in a conclusion. Not being strung along for eternity. Not even for free TV. So as it stands we see this as nothing more than a little entertainment. The WWE on UPN. The joke where you never get to the punchline. Danny Garcia says he's looking to go to 147, and that Thurman's good but hasn't fought anyone. We'll be dissecting Thurman next because Garcia says he can take Thurman, and that's a fight we'd love to see. But do we actually get to see that on NBC? We hope we're wrong, but we doubt it. We'll certainly give Heyman his props if we are. But from what we see, he appears to be the polar opposite of Don King. King was good for the fans, bad for the fighter. Heyman seems to be good for the fighter, bad for the fans. And ultimately, he doesn't seem to be good for fighters who seriously want to face the best. We know a lot of fans are hard up, but in the end. We don't care about free crap. I couldn't give two shits about a free date with a girl with bad breath and maggots falling out of her fucking mouth. I'd rather pay a few bucks for the clean disease free girl who actually brushes her fucking teeth. But strange shit's going on with Heyman. Like why doesn't Heyman advise top rank fighters? If he's nothing more than an advisor it shouldn't matter. If he does we sure the fuck never heard of it. There's just too many questions surrounding this guy. Nor do we think we'll ever see these guys face each other. Which means we'll never get to see what we want to see anyway. Big money making fighters are supposed to get the big dollars by fighting top motherfuckers. That's always been the purpose for their big paydays. The big fight that excited everyone is what drew the big gate. These guys came along and changed everything. And the new fan is so fucking dumb they buy into the shit. Now we've got a bunch of fakes lacing them up to get the big payday without ever fighting the big fights. The actual fight we wanna see. Now Mayweather's gearing up for another fight while still avoiding the Pac-Man. 
Guess this was his big surprise for the fans. That pack sure the fucks got this motherfucker scared as hell. And so far we've seen nothing from Heyman or any of his fighters other than being strung along with bullshit. Maybe his big plans to show prospects, and grab every fighter until he owns them all. Then give us some good fights in 10 years. Who the fuck knows? But until we see a result to cheer about. Heyman to NBC doesn't mean squat to us, other than a brand new rising TV network Cold War.